So today's video is inspired by Steampunk Panda. <laughs> Can't stop smiling every time, every time. Anyway, so you can thank Steampunk Panda for, <laughs> for this video. Oh God. So fortunately, we're doing a hydrometer video. Now I got the idea for doing this, the inspiration, if you will, from a user called Steampunk Panda. I love the name, it's awesome. Steampunk and Panda, it's, yeah, it's just, plays in my head, it's awesome. So he wanted to know how I worked out my percentages for my alcohol using my hydrometer because most people use brewing calculators. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do a short little video on how I do it and just bear in mind that a lot of hydrometers do have these other things on there in one form or another. So if you have a hydrometer, take a look, you'll probably find it in some form or another. Anyway, so um, let's get to it. The Hydrometer, a mystical tool full of powers and wonder. How do we unlock the secrets? Tell me. So we're going to be looking at the Hydrometer. And I've got a lovely, lovely picture of the Hydrometer. Looking very good. Now it is the exact Hydrometer that I own. It happens to be I bought mine from Wilkinson's. And we're going to look at the scale that's right in front of you. It is the standard scale. Sorry, I hurt my back. And uh, yeah, it, it hurts to talk and breathe. Anyway, so it's a standard scale that pretty much every home brewer uses. Now, what this actually is, is a density measuring implement. It measures the density of uh, your alcoholic concoction. So the more sugar you put in, the higher the hydrometer is going to go. Now, a hydrometer is only accurate at 20 degrees centigrade. Don't ask me what that is in Fahrenheit, because that's, uh, yeah, that's Fahrenheit. That's funny numbers. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so um, you'll notice, though, if you put your hydrometer into water, just water without anything else in it, it's going to hover right about the one mark, 1 1.000, for those that are just unsure. It's highlighted in yellow. Now, you will also notice that there is another mark below it, which is... 990 or 0.990. Now the reason that that's there is because alcohol is actually less dense than water. So if you get a truly dry fermentation all the way, you know, drier than a badger's butt crack, uh, it will read less than the water. So that's why the 990 there is, is there. So that is technically zero for your alcohol. Um, yeah, so a lot of people use this scale. It's, it's, it's okay if you write down the numbers, uh, you can then go on a brewing calculator and you can work it out that way. What people don't tell you is most hydrometers actually come with different scales on there. Some have a grams per litre uh, of sugar, grams per litre scale, which again is accurate at 20 degrees centigrade. They're all pretty much accurate at 20 degrees centigrade. So I use the word ish a lot. Um, I'll bring up another picture. So it's got the usual scale right next to it, and it also has a potential alcohol scale. Now they are, as you can see, they've got the yellow, black, red, and blue. Now that's to help you with your wines, your beers, and obviously knowing where to bottle. But you will see there's this rough guide on the side that goes down to about 5%. And then it goes sweet, medium, and dry. That is for when you're stopping your wines. So it's, it's not very helpful if you're making low alcohol stuff, but they just presume that you're not gonna make anything under 5%. That's fair enough, so you kinda of have to guess. So I'm just gonna take a rough example. Your potential alcohol level is 17%, and your alcohol finishes at 5%. So basically, the easiest way to work that out, to an ish, is take away 5 from your 17%. Now that gives you a total of 12. Now if your maths isn't that good and you want to go the other way, you can plus it, which basically means your 5 is now a 0, and then your 6 is a 1, and then you just keep counting until you get to 17, and that will be the same, which is 12. So uh, yeah, that's, that's how I quickly work out how I use my hydrometer. So I wanted to make this video kind of informative, kind of fun, kind of easy to understand. Uh, a lot of people have done the video before 
and I just wanted to put my little spin on it and try and keep things short, sweet and simple and keep you engaged. I mean, you want to know, so hopefully this has helped you out in some way. Um, if you like the video, of course, thumbs up. Don't forget to rate, comment, like and share, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. Um, many more videos to come, so thank you very much, guys. Cheers.